Hey there! Welcome back to Anime Capper. Today, we'll take a look into our favorite detective, as he tackles another adventure full of twists and turns in Detective Conan, the Scarlet Bullet. As always, there are spoilers ahead, so viewers, beware. Fifteen years ago in Detroit, a man runs away after having escaped from alleged confinement. As he's running all around the city, he's tailed by an unknown shooter. The man manages to get into a subway car, but gets shot and dies inside the train. We cut to Japan, where a new bullet train is being introduced to the public during an event. This train, called the Hyperlinear Bullet Train, will begin its operations before the WSG Tokyo Olympics begins. The event organizers declare that the first passengers of the train will be the primary sponsors of the WSG athletes and the members of the World Sports Association. As the festivities continue, the electricity gets cut in the room. Conan spots a sliver of blue-white light in the distance and goes to inspect it. However, he gets caught by Ran and the electricity suddenly gets fixed. As things start to settle, Sonoko's dad suddenly disappears. Sonoko asks a man named John if he's seen her dad, but John acts weird and runs away unexpectedly. Inspector Megger arrives at the scene and his two subordinates tell him that President Suzuki is still missing. They also tell the inspector that Conan spotted a blue-white light at the same time the power went out. Conan gets questioned, and he tells the inspector that it might have been a stun gun that he saw. However, if the president was kidnapped, it would be impossible to haul a big man out of the venue without one, anyone knowing, and two, in under 30 seconds. Upon further investigation, the CCTV cameras showed no suspicious people during the power interruption. Genta chimes in and says he can smell eels by the food table, but there aren't any eels served in the venue. Conan comes closer to the spot and see that a whole cart is missing. The investigators hypothesize that the cart was used to carry President Suzuki out of the room. Inspector Megger instructs his subordinates to look for any witnesses and double-check the CCTVs in the entire hotel. Genta goes back to sniffing around for any more clues and the rest of the game follow him to the kitchen. Upon going further, Heibara spots the missing food cart. Conan sees a discarded hotel uniform on the kitchen floor and notices sauce smeared on one of the cupboards. Getting curious, Conan opens the cabinet door only to find the missing president all tied up inside. President Suzuki is questioned if he remembers anything about his kidnappers, but unfortunately, he can barely remember anything after the power outage. One of Inspector Megger's subordinates says that this case is quite similar to what happened to someone named Director Mitsuzuka. Apparently, Director Mitsuzuka was found inside a bathroom at the golf club they both go to. When asked what happened, she refused to say a word. The gang are given the profile of Mitsuzuka Aiko, a director of a famous confectionery company. She's also one of the sponsors for the WSG Tokyo Olympics. Conan deduces that the kidnappers are targeting the heads of companies who are also somehow involved in the Olympics. Elsewhere, an unknown man takes a call from a mysterious caller. He is told that the serial kidnappings of the Olympics, some 15 years ago, are happening again in Tokyo. This man, Akai Ishuichi, is a famous sniper for the FBI, but is now disguised as a college student named Subaru Akia. Shuichi is currently living at Conan's house to hide from the Black Organization, a secret criminal syndicate. Sonoko and Ran arrive and give the kids tickets to the hyperlinear train's first trip. On their way home, Conan forgets his phone and falls back to look for it. But really he meets with Shuichi and the pair go for a drive, aware that he's being followed by trusted FBI agents, James Black, Andre Camel, and Jody Starlin. Conan tells Shuichi the details of the recent kidnapping cases, eventually saying that similar incidents happened during the WSG Olympics in Boston. The only difference is that one of the victims escaped from the kidnapper, forcing the suspect to shoot him dead. Days later, the rest of the captives were released, but refused to say anything about their kidnappers. Fortunately, the FBI managed to profile the kidnapper, Makoto Ishihara, a sushi chef working in Boston. The motive was still unclear though, as he denied claims of being involved in the kidnapping cases. Because of these kidnappings, 
the sponsors withdrew their support for the WSG. Conan thinks that the cases 15 years ago and the recent kidnappings in Japan are connected somehow because the first victim in Tokyo was also a director of a famous confectionery company, the second one was a chairman of an economic group. Shuichi deduces that if the kidnapper is following this pattern, the next target could be the director of a car manufacturing business. Elsewhere, Ran walks home when she sees John come out of her father's office. When Conan joins her at the office, they both discover that John Voigt is the director and CEO of an auto production company. Conan thinks that he might be the next target. On the orientation day for the train's first trip, Conan learns that the sponsors would need to get their health checked first and then travel all the way from the first station to the last. Rand deduces that the kidnapper might not be able to target John while on the train. Conan tells her that they now have to be careful at the airport and the stadium. It's finally the day of the trip, and people are gathered and waiting to board. Conan makes a commotion and trips right in front of John, who then helps him up. During the interaction, Conan slips a device in John's pocket and then gets a call from Shuichi. Shuichi tells him that after Makoto Ishihara was taken to prison, he died, and his wife and child returned to Japan. Conan takes their names and checks the passenger list. He calls Shuichi back and tells him they're not on the list. Shuichi deduces that maybe they changed their names after being under witness protection program. Now at the health checkpoint, Conan feels that he's being watched. Somewhere in the parking lot, Misumi Sira, younger sister of Shuichi, hides behind a tree. Her mom, Mary Sira, was also seen loitering around Shuichi's car during his phone call with Conan and older brother Shukichi travels all the way to Nagoya, one of the stations that the bullet train will stop at. With the people gathered inside the health checkpoint, an unknown intruder pushes a button that releases gas in the area. People panic, but the doors are locked and the exits are blocked. Rand tries looking for a way out, but she's immediately knocked unconscious in a corner. Conan tries looking for Rand, but Heibara calls his attention and tells him that this isn't an explosion, but a cooling phenomenon. Cooling via liquid helium releases anesthesia, and Heibara warns Conan that they might die because of this. Conan tries calling Shuichi, but is also knocked unconscious before he can talk. Shuichi watches as a car hightails it out of the parking lot he's in. He tries to follow it, but Masumi blocks his path immediately. Back in the building, police get inside the room only to find people on the floor asleep. Slowly, the people regain their consciousness. Conan discovers that John is missing. Fortunately, the device he slipped in John's pockets reveals his current location. Conan immediately goes after John using his high-powered skateboard and calls Shuichi to tell him John had been kidnapped. Conan tells him the current location and asks Shuichi to follow them. Misumi, under the instruction of Mary, also follows Shuichi's car. Meanwhile, Conan notices his glasses are broken, rendering him unable to track John's current location. Heibara thinks that it's an after-effect of the cooling from earlier. Using Conan's spare glasses, Heibara tells Conan that John has switched locations. Conan immediately relays this to Shuichi, who immediately changes lanes. Heibara then follows a couple of doctors to look at the MRI machines. One doctor suggests that someone in a panic must have pressed the emergency button after seeing the messed up machine. However, Heibara reminds the doctors that if the emergency button is pressed, then the ventilation system will be open to release any toxic gas. So if that's the case, why did the ventilation system close instead? Thinking it weird, the doctors check the management office and find that the pipes to the second floor of the building have been timed to open, and the exhaust device is also fully open. Conan hears all this and deduces that this was done on purpose. Meanwhile, Shuichi makes it to the current location of John, but is met with an empty warehouse. As he investigates inside, Masumi and Mary follow him and attack. As the trio fight, Shuichi recognizes his sister. Just then, Conan arrives at the scene, effectively halting the fight. As Mary hides somewhere, Shuichi takes the chance to run away. Conan asks Misumi if she's also looking for John, and when she confirms this, Conan tells her he knows where to find the missing conglomerate. The pair travel via Misumi's motorbike, 
finally making it to John's current location. They find him on top of a foot bridge, and when he wakes up, they ask him if he remembers anything that happened. John can only remember the time when he woke up once inside a vehicle, beside an unknown person. Back in the airport, Alan McKenzie is also missing. Hibaro calls Conan and tells him that the passengers will now take the Shinkansen back to Tokyo instead of the bullet train. She explains that the train had to depart so it could arrive in time for the opening ceremony, even without passengers. She also tells him that Alan is missing. Conan gets another call from Shuichi, who tells him that he's found the kidnapper's car and can see that the driver is a guy. Shuichi makes his way to Shin Nagoya Station and Conan convinces Masumi with him to go to the same station. Meanwhile, at Shin Nagoya, the bullet train is being admired by a crowd while waiting for it to depart. Conan manages to create a diversion and boards the empty train with Masumi. Inside the Shinkansen, the passengers are able to see the interior of the bullet train. Because of this, people find out that Conan and Masumi are walking inside. Ran's father asks if the train can be stopped so he can come collect the child, but the main engineer tells him that it's on autopilot to ensure that it arrives on time for the ceremony. Meanwhile, Shuichi is in place to shoot at the train. He fires a single a single shot into the unknown. Inside, Conan and Masumi find Alan inside a suitcase and manage to save him. At this point, Conan announces to the crowd inside the Shinkansen that John and Alan were both kidnapped at the same time and taken by the same kidnapper. To discover the identity of the suspect, Conan cues and Jody to make a phone call to the passenger list of the bullet train. Everyone's phone rings except for one, Shirohao Mako, the PR specialist for WSG and daughter of the previous killer, Makoto Ishihara. Conan deduces that her motive must be revenge-driven after her father had been falsely accused of killing the third victim. At this, Mako points a gun at Alan, revealing her grudge at the FBI. She explains that thanks to the WSG Association, she found out that Alan will be on the bullet train and purposely recreated the crime 15 years ago to remind Alan. Before she can do anything, the train's controls are overridden, causing Conan to lose his chance to shoot a laser at Mako. The trio managed to trick Mako into backing away to essentially help her perfect her aim, and she loses her balance after stepping on a pen. Conan takes this chance to hide Mako with a curtain, just as Shuichi's silver bullet penetrates through the train's exteriors, hitting her on the shoulder. However, it is revealed that Mako has an accomplice. Masumi thinks that it must have been someone who can control the train remotely. This criminal also was strong enough to put Alan inside a suitcase and board him onto the train. Conan names the accomplice, and now Asamu, the main engineer. Heibara manages to steal his control panel, which shows the train's software. And now's father is revealed to be the first victim whose company went bankrupt after being blamed for the incident 15 years ago. And now manages to escape and take back his control panel. Conan then calls the FBI agents, including Shuichi, to intercept a now. However, the train starts to pick up the pace, and Hibara concludes that a now must have programmed his own system in order to take full control of the train. The bullet train is now in danger of capsizing, and Conan and Masumi can barely stand because of the speed. Hibara warns Conan that another cooling is released inside the train and tells him to get to the main control room and manually stop the train from there. Meanwhile, the FBI agents are still chasing an owl around the city, eventually succeeding in stopping him with the help of Shukichi. Conan and Masumi make it to the control room, but find the brake is too weak to do anything. The train crashes into the newly built WSG stadium, but the pair manage to reduce the damage and make it out alive. The FBI arrest an owl and tell him that his father indeed committed the original crime and Ishihara Makoto was in fact an accomplice to the crime. And that was the exciting story of Detective Conan, The Scarlet Bullet. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment below to share your favorite scene from the movie. Until next time, bye.